Solving a mystery is much like solving a puzzle. You have to put all the pieces together. I was with him that day when he fed those bison. And in this collage of the disappearance of David Cook, assembled by his sister, Judy Tran Su, over the 13 years he's been missing, she sees a puzzle, but without all the parts she needs. We have lots of pieces to this puzzle. We just need a few more so we can get the complete picture. Those necessary pieces have been elusive, going back to November 19th, 2008. That's when Cook failed to show up for a meeting on the Bates County, Missouri ranch where he lived. His two pickups were there, his wallet too, but David, his cell phone and glasses were gone. Earlier that morning, phone records show he made a couple of calls to one of his hired men who says they met up to repair some fence, check on some cattle. Then David went back to the house on a four-wheeler. In the weeks before he vanished, Judy says David suspected cattle rustlers were picking off part of his large herd that he kept on the ranch. And because he lived his whole life in and around Bates County and he knew everybody, Judy's longtime fear is that whatever happened to David was pulled off by someone familiar to him. It's the betrayal. If it had been random, it would it'd be different. But it, my belief that it's someone he knew just you know, the betrayal. I can't imagine what that was like for him. She holds no illusions that her brother is still alive, and the drive she had to find David in the years immediately after he vanished has eased off. The pictures no longer elicit as much pain, but... It also kind of makes me think about, okay, what else can I do? What else haven't we checked? Who else haven't we talked to? Finding him, of course, would bring closure, perhaps some justice, and it would finally fill in the puzzle with all of its pieces. Martin Augustine, KBC 9 News.